black owned. It's about business, our business, our culture, creating legacies. See us, hear us, support the movement. We are black owned. So I'm Mr. Fine of Black Owned Reporting. Uh, we started Black Owned Reporting in the midst of COVID. The COVID pandemic affected businesses both large and small, and we wanted to show businesses that we still care. The videos on this channel focus on small businesses and big businesses with their accomplishments as well as some of their struggles. So we're going to start off with Ascada. Hey, of, nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> of push until something, something happens. happens. Something yeah. happens. <laughs> Introducing himself to the people. Hey, how's it going? I'm Ascada. I've been I'm doing Push Until Something Happens. It's my clothing line. I've been doing this for about two years now, and I'm really giving it the full, full push through. No, no pun intended. <laughs> so you said you've been doing it for about two years. How did Push Until Something Happens get it start? Get got get gets <laughs> get it start. <laughs> it actually started way back in 2006. I, me and my friends back in the, back then, that was like around here, it was a very rough time. Mm -hmm. you know, so everybody was in gangs or things like that. And I had started skateboarding and I got my, a few of my friends into skateboarding. So we had started a skateboard crew and we called ourselves Push, Push Until Something Happens. And we always hung out. We're still friends to this day. I still see them. One, one of them is my roommate who actually lives with me right now. And we're always together, always doing stuff. And even though it started off as just us being like our crew and like that was just us and us skating and hanging out, it grew as time grew. And I started to notice that it's really more of a motivational saying because a lot of times I've been through a lot of situations personally where you get depressed or you get down and you feel like some if you're trying to do something and everything isn't working out right away, you get like stuck in it and then you're like, oh, I'm not gonna do it anymore. But you have to push through. That's why you have to push until something happens to actually make what your dreams are come true because there's nothing stopping you from your dreams except for you. That does make a lot of sense. Would you say that your clothing brand is inspired by skatewear? Yeah, heavily, very, very heavily inspired by the old skate brands that I grew up watching, like the Ice Cream and Pharrell, those were like the one of my first inspirations and then I branched out and started following like Baker, Skateboards, Death Wish, like Bones, a lot of really hardcore skaters. So I, like, I just take those influences and the hip hop culture that I'm engrossed in, everything that I'm around, like I take all that together and try to come up with what I think is like the dopest stuff. So I know we're both rocking some push until something's ha something happens yeah. where. So what else do you offer? Because I know we got this beautiful jersey over here. Yeah, so I have a bunch of stuff. I got jerseys, uh, jackets, hoodies, sweatshirts, kids clothes. I have kids hoodies, kids t-shirts. Um, I also have grinders, lighters, uh, skateboard accessories like trucks, uh, decks. A bunch of different things. I'm trying to get my hands into as many different things as possible. That is an extensive, <laughs> extensive menu. Yeah. But like kids' clothes. I mean, skatewear. That does make sense because you said you were influenced by skatewear. Mm -hmm. But kids' clothes. How do you get into kids' clothes? Um. Well, in general, I'm around a lot of kids. I have a lot of family members, a lot of little cousins and stuff, and I want the kids to look as dope as the parents do. So I feel like if you're gonna why not get your kid like the same shirt as you and be matching? So you spoke about a lot of kids in your family. Mm -hmm. So how do you feel as though your family has supported you through your business endeavor? Oh, they've been big supporters. Everything I do, they repost. They're always telling people to come and buy stuff from me that I actually had a bunch of them show up to my, to my pop-up the other day, which was really, really cool. They're really just trying um actually this logo right here was drawn by one of my little cousins originally and i took it and did a few different things to it but i try to i try to incorporate family and friends into things as much as i do because they're very important to me that it i, can, I mean clearly <laughs> <laughs> yeah so if i let's say i want to get um a hoodie made do you mm -hmm. also make your own stuff yeah i can i do custom stuff i do i focus mostly on the push brand but i can do custom things i've done stuff for parties family events all that kind of stuff 
Okay, so where can we find you? Uh, you can find me on on Instagram at it's Escada or Twitter. It's the same thing. I T S E S C A D A and Twitter, Instagram is probably the best place. I'm also on Facebook. I'm pretty much on every social media by the same tag. It's Escada. Okay, so we're going to backpedal a little bit. All right. So you started this about two years ago, but you said it originated in 2006, right? So how does it feel that you are your own boss and you're finally doing it? It feels incredible because I actually recently, I was working at a liquor store for a while and actually became the manager of it and was running the whole thing and things didn't really work out with the company is the best way to put it. And to I, I've actually taken the step to fully chase my dream and I'm seeing things actually start happening with it. So it just feels incredible. So what message would you have for people who are trying to do the same things that you're doing or people who don't know, really know where to start and they're like, okay, well, what do I do? My message to people that are looking to start is if it's something that you really want to do just go for it don't don't listen to people people are going to tell you all day that you can't do things or this isn't going to work out the way that you think that you need the plan b if you don't have a plan b you only have the plan a you can't lose because you're stuck you're pushing until something happens literally you're in the actual motion of it like that's the most important thing if you listen to any successful person they never quit what they wanted to do because somebody told them no or it, because it was hard, most things that you want are going to be hard. So you have to actually go through it and fight those battles, fight through it, and you'll get through to the end and get exactly what you're looking for. So what would you say is your proudest accomplishment? My proudest accomplishment is the fact that people actually think that the things that I make are dope. That's what I like. I'm rocking this fire hoodie <laughs> and I'm in love. Yeah. I'm like, I need this in my life. <laughs> That's the biggest thing for me. I just, I like creating things and putting them out there and just seeing that people actually vibe to it and they are gravitating towards it is, that's the biggest thing for me. Hmm. So now it's time for my favorite segment, shameless plug time. So what do you want to shamelessly plug up? Uh, let's see, shameless plugs. I, I actually do music as well. I'm on SoundCloud. I'm a producer. I have a few different artists that are coming out with some really good music coming up. Um, I have a few few of my friends actually are really big in this it doing clothes as well uh, Finally Friday. She was in the pop-up with us. She's killing it right now uh, Aggie Dave he has plit so red with X uh, X files New York everything that we're going up We have a whole pop-up shop tour coming up. We're gonna be coming to a city near you Definitely come check out some of the dope clothes. It's gonna be me and a bunch of other friends Wow, yeah. that's a that's a lot. So you got a <laughs> pop up shop co you got a pop up shop going. Mm -hmm. Your friends are in this collective where they're just like, okay, so we make clothes, yep. we do music. You're a producer. Do you engineer as well? Yep, a little <laughs> bit. I'm learning. I'm not the best engineer just yet, but <laughs> pretty soon. So that goes back to push until something happens because yep. you re you really are embodying your brand. It's the only way to be. I have to, if I want people to actually believe in it, I feel like I have to live it, so. Okay. So, walk me through um, what happens when you start to create your um, your articles. As, so, I basically come up with the design. Most of my designs are centered around, like, zombies or Grim Reapers and things. And not just necessarily because it's, like, hardcore or whatever, mm -hmm. but... It's part of the message that I'm trying to relay to people that we're literally, there's one second separating us between being here and being a body or being a zombie or the Grim Reaper being here. A Grim Reaper is always on your back. So you have to push until something happens before he catches up to you. Oh. Yeah. There's like a message behind everything. <laughs> everything. It all looks dope, but I try to make it as mm -hmm. meaningful as possible. And then you still bring, you still manage to find a way to bring it around full circle. Yeah. Okay. So what final words do you have for the people? Um, chase your dreams. Don't stop. Don't let people naysay you and get you down. Don't let people make you feel like you can't do something. If somebody tells you that you, you can't do it, it's because in their head they can't do it. Mm -hmm. You can do anything that you want. So it's time again. Where can we find you? Uh, Instagram, it's Escada, I-T-S-E-S-C-A-D-A, 
that's probably the best place right now. That's yeah. Instagram. <laughs> so Instagram is everything. I feel like yeah. social media, we live in such a social media world. And with social media, it's like the easiest way to find everybody. Oh, also, uh, push something and ny.com. Thing. and this website <laughs> <laughs> completely forgot about the website it's coming back up this week we're going to be putting out all the hoodies sweatshirts uh sweatpants hockey jerseys jackets all that good stuff all that good stuff so when you finally get your own shop together because i know everything's online but i'm i'm putting it i'm speaking it into existence for you that you're going to have your own shop and you're going to be all over the world are you going to come back and give us another interview oh yeah for sure. <laughs> Gotta make sure. I'm speaking it into existence. We have a few interviews, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> so if you guys like this video, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. If you have anyone you feel that needs to be interviewed, make sure you drop it in the comment section below. So we'll see you guys next time. Peace out. I'm shining. I'm shining. I'm shining. I'm shining. I'm shining. I'm shining.